Hello everybody, happy snow day. It's um, Wednesday, February 13th, and we got 15 more inches last night. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a better winter in your area of the country than we are, although I think I think a lot of people are having bad winters. Ah! So anyway, I'm taking a break from helping my husband with the snow blowing, and um, because I wanted to show you the new kit that I just put in my shop this morning. This is so cool. When I saw this, I nearly fell over and died. <laughs> so <clears throat> you guys know how my dream would be to have a rare book library, but I certainly don't have the budget to even buy one $300 book. So um, I go into the public domain and I download them and I manipulate them into kits so that I can use them. And then I put them in the shop so I can share them with you too. My my theory is you can't please everybody, so I just put things in the shop that I love and I hope that you love them too. And this book is just so original and cool. It's from 1919. Some of you may not even know what shorthand is. Um, so this book was, uh, there was a guy that invented shorthand. His name was Greg. His niece notated Alice in Wonderland in shorthand. And I just thought that this is this is just going to be so cool for junk journals and collaging. I plan on printing this as I always do onto tissue paper. Um, so it's a new kit. You get um, 10 sheets that print out at 8 by 10, 21 images, including the front cover. This is the original front cover. Now, unfortunately, it does have the library um, barcode on here. Somebody stuck that on there, and there's a little bit of tape there um, that I couldn't get off. So um, what I plan on doing is just putting something over this. Maybe, you know, when I when I make this, maybe a piece of textile or um, some collage down here and decorating the side. Or you can leave it there if you like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. This kit, can you can make into a mini book as it is, or you can tear it up, use it in your journals, whatever you'd like to do. If you use it as a journal kit, um, make your own mini album journal kit just from this, it's going to measure eight and a half by five and a half. The inside pages are eight are eight and a half by five because I like to give a little little bit of a buffer. So this is the front cover, Alice in Wonderland, written in Greg shorthand. Beautiful. And so it's shorthand, but it features all of the original images that we love from Alice in Wonderhand, Wonderland. Look at that. So look at the shorthand. And then the, the original images, there's the Cheshire Cat. I'll just show them quickly. I tried to include all of our favorite characters because there, this was a very quite a large book and I couldn't include all the pages love this one. The camera's trying to focus. Sometimes it pulses in and out like that. It drives me crazy instead of just focusing. The Mad Hatter's Tea Party and the Little Rabbit. This one is just a half page but I liked it because it says advice from a caterpillar. And I thought that that would be really cute. That gives you a little bit of room down here to uh, maybe write in some advice that somebody gave you or put a picture. It also has uh, the headings of whatever the name of the chapter was. And, of course, this famous page from Alice in Wonderland, but it's in shorthand. So neat. And the little mouse. Whoops. And there's the pool of tears. When she cries and almost drowns the mouse. There's the rabbit. And then I just did two blank pages so you could decorate them yourself.
There's another one of the rabbit. Oops, that was a misprint. So what you can do if you if you cut these down uh, by cutting the borders off, they're ready to go. Just fold it in half, put your cover on, and you have a little mini album with 20 pages in it, all ready to go, or a little mini journal that you can just, just stick in your purse and take with you. So, so I just thought that this was so original and neat. I hope that you love it. It's in my shop. I'll put the link down below. I have a couple of other things coming out today, which um, given the situation here with our snow, I may or may not get to the videos today. I don't know how much time I'll have in my studio, but I hope you love this. It's unique. It's original. And I think we could all have a lot of fun with this. So thanks for watching this quick video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.